cooking with Frankie Meatball. Today is a special episode. We're going to talk about these guys show, Dudes by the Water podcast. They talk about sports. They talk about the aliens that's out there. I don't know if they're out there. Are they out there? Who knows if they're out there? They talk about anything you want to talk about. They will talk with you. They will call you. They will do anything for you. But today, you're going to eat some Frankie Meatball pizza. So please welcome today's special guest. On Cooking with Frankie Meeple, Dudes by the Water. What's up, everyone? Gavin Riley. I'm a student at Kutztown University, and I'm also a co-host of Dudes by the Water. What's up, everyone? My name is Joe. I'm also a co-host on Dudes by the Water. I play baseball at Westchester University. If you want to see the best podcast in the world, go on YouTube, Spotify, Instagram. Dudes by the Water. Check it out. And you're cooking with Frankie, Frankie Meeple. This is Robbie D, a.k.a. Superman, season 14, episode 1. I died soon, but I came back. That's why I got the beard and the long hair. What's up, everybody? Jessica Paulson here, a.k.a. Sprinkles, from season 14 of Worst Cooks in America on Food Network. Hey, this is Kevin from phillyrockradio.com, and you're about to get cooking with Frankie Meatball. Check it out. <laughs> with fresh yeast and dry yeast. Check them out. Here, I'm going to make the start of my cheeseburger pizza. You just want to start with just a regular pizza. Again, throw your sauce in the middle, spread it out. The only thing you really throw on the pizza is going to be the cheese and the hamburger halfway through cooking, which you'll see. Because you don't want to throw the hamburger on with the cheese and the cooking because then the cheeseburger is going to get overcooked, it's going to get dry, it's not going to be good, okay? Dudes by the water talking about worst cooks and the time that I was a worst cook. But was I really? So worst cooks in America, season 14, what? What is Worst Cooks? Like, I understand you got picked, right? And yeah. I know there's 14 contestants on the show. And it starts in the beginning, and it was Chef, your season was Chef Ann and Chef Robert Ir Irvine. Yeah. Irvine. And they're both. They're Amazing chefs. Yeah, they're Amazing yeah. chefs. They're the Irvine's a little tough, he's a military <laughs> guy, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? The first three days in boot camp was terrible for me. Really? Uh, what? What? The, fir the first day we had to do our cook, and you know me, I'm loud and this and that. I wish they would have would would have put this on. I, I love getting hollered at by people, and getting hollered at by Chef Ann on national TV would have been a blessing. You know what I mean? I mean, I got kicked out of an Andrew Dice Clay show, and I took that as a compliment. <laughs> you know? So she after I uh, made the uh, spaghetti monster, you guys got to check it out. Uh, Worst Cooks in America, season fourteen, episode one. I made eggplant parm. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> like I didn't plan for it to come out the way it did, but as I'm putting my plate together, it looked like a face. So I'm yeah. like, I'm going. You yeah, know, yeah. and you know, yeah, me yeah. being a goofball and being from the city, I'm loud and. Then Noxious, you yeah, know. Yeah. I like to be the center of attention, yeah, yeah. you know. After I made my dish, after she looked at, she said to me, she says, "Let me tell you something, Mr. New Jersey. I wish this would have been on TV. It would have been so great. My daughter would love me getting hollered at by her favorite chef." She says, "If you think you're going to come into my kitchen and be the center of attention and be a goofball, I'm going to kick your butt right back to New Jersey where you came from." And then the uh, the second day. We were in Yonkers, New York, filming the, um, at a courthouse. We were in Yonkers, New York, at a courthouse. We were filming the, uh, the promo, the promo commercial. Yeah. And we, we were on, we were in a courtroom, and we were on 
trial because we murdered food. <laughs> <laughs> so it's after lunchtime, and they call everybody, and we go back into the courtroom, and I'm telling you, I got the, the picture was in um, Food Network's magazine, I got a copy of it. If you look at everybody else in there, uh, Janice was in there, Rudy, um, Bradley, the winner of season 14, if you look at all of us in that picture, nobody knew they were taking pictures of us. Mm -hmm. So I got my hands in my pocket, my aprons all bunched up, and Irvine with his, with his uh, yeah. uh, military voice goes, you look like crap! So me, I'm looking behind me and go, who's he yelling at? He's, who's he yelling at? He goes, you, looking around. I went, me? He was like, yeah, you, you look like crap with your apron all bunched up. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, I didn't know they were taking pictures. He goes, they're not my pictures, they're your pictures. As we're walking out of the courtroom, Irvine, walk, Chef Irvine walks up to the bar. He says, you better straighten out, you, because if you think you're going to be a jokester, you're going home. Well, oh, what's going on yeah. here? Like, yeah, I, I didn't even cook yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know how the military is. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah, he's on you. And then the third day, after we filmed our uh, the eggplant parm, yeah, we were doing a demo. You know how the show goes. They teach you what to cook, and then you got to replicate. It. Okay. So he has time this season, fresh time. And he passes it to everybody for them to smell it. So, I was the last one to smell it, so I'm holding it in my hand. And, uh, you know, he's got the uh, behind the scenes on the um, on his uh, headphones. And, you know, everything's timed in the show, so he wanted to know how much time he got left. So he said to the people behind, behind the scenes, hey, how much time do I got left? Who's got the time? And I'm holding time, the uh, seasoning, so I hold it up. It's like, hey, chef, I got the time? <laughs> oh, my God, forget about it. You would have thought I, 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 I whacked one of his uh, sous chefs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, that's going to get you sent home. You want to get sent home? You keep acting like that. So after we did the demo, I'm walking out, and I said to Jessica uh, Paulson, a.k.a. Mrs. Sprinkles, I said, hey, hey, do, do I got bullseye on my back? I, I, I think everybody's gunning after me. She says, hey, Frank, nothing for nothing? She goes, but that was some funny crap. And then Bradley turned to me and says, hey, Frank, somebody's got to be the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> But then I went on and I won the first challenge. I mean, if you watch that, if you just go back and watch that, yeah. Timmy Tuck, my man Timmy Tuck is standing next to me. Every time he tried to make a joke to me and try to get me to interact with him, I, my face was all about business. Baseline challenge, right, in the beginning of that. Episode one, why did you decide to cook? Well, I know you said that face came to you. Why did you cook that? Uh, a plate pot? Yeah. Well, it was one of my favorite dishes that my mother made. Okay. You know what I mean? And I think it was... I, I believe it was something easy that I could kind of make good, but I, if you watch the show, I don't think they yeah. uh, tasted it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Chef Irvine got a kick out of me throwing pasta at the wall. I was going to bring that up. <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah, what, 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 why did you do that? Explain, why, explain to the viewers. Well, I, I had to do it for TV. You know, like I said, I'm an entertainer. Yeah, right? exactly. And you, you, like anybody that knows Italians and other stereotypes, they say, how do you know when pasta is good to eat? Well, you throw it at the wall. If it sticks to the wall, it's good to go. So I threw it at the wall. I said, hey, look, it's uh, good to go. I never, I never used it until I got to the show, which is something that just came to me. So you know what? Let me throw this at the wall. You know what I mean? Everybody's trying to be the center of attention. You know, everybody wants to count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That first episode, did anyone get kicked off? Like, Yeah, yeah. Um... Marian, that was on the blue team, got kicked off, and the first person I actually met, um, I met him at the uh, Grand Central, not Grand Central Station, the uh, Madison Square Garden, they have the uh, train yeah. station, he was from yeah. uh, Hoboken, New Jersey, I think he is, he was from New Jersey, his name is uh, Robbie, I can't even pronounce his last name, I'm not going to butcher it. Superman, oh, Superman guy. guy. Yeah, the Superman guy. He, uh, and they made you, you and him sit next to each other. Oh my God, he was the best man. Every joke I made, he rolled off in. Every joke he made, I rolled off in. I mean, they should have canceled us both on the same team, I'm telling you, forget about it, we would have stole the joke. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Timmy Tuck, 
made season 14. Yeah, he's, he, he made he made season fourteen. He was he's hilarious. He was Check him out on Instagram, guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. Check him out on Instagram, guys. Check him out on Facebook. He's got a lot of stuff cooking for him after this pandemic's over, whatever really? you want to call it. Wow, that's great. And he's actually uh, Jessica, aka Sprinkles, and Timmy Talk is on an episode of Cooking with Frankie Meatball. Oh. We made a three layer cake with sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> were, were you nervous throughout this whole like what? I mean, yeah. you put on a nervous face during it. It's yeah, all, like, I kind of was. Uh, tell us about that. After being yelled at three times, it was kind of like, okay, maybe I'm going to be the guy to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be the first one. Yeah. Right. Second. What was it like cooking that environment? Like that? You got to be like I. I never seen anything like it. Like people were running around and screaming and. The dude caught a steak on fire on the <laughs> non flame grill. Yeah, I think that was my boy Copen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, it was probably the most extreme stress that I endured. Okay. Because you got cameras in front of you, you got producers in front of you, you got cameras all around. And you are, all you're trying to do is cook his dish. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you don't want to go home, you know what I mean? You, you want to stick around. There's 25 big ones on, on, on the line, 25,000 for the oh, way. I didn't even know that. You know what I mean? Who was your favorite? I, I hate to make you choose, or you don't need to choose, but who was your favorite friend, teammate? Like, who was? Well, I'm, gonna, two or three, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to have to, it, it's a wide variety. Um, they all were great. Yeah, I mean, extra every extra. single one of them, I mean, they, they were great people. It was a great cast. And, um, you know, the, the first first person I met was Robbie. He, I mean, we clicked on that first episode. Like, we were just like uh, Cheech and Chong. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. joke after joke. And then, as time went on, uh, Jessica was the next person that I actually started to talk to. Uh, she's from California. She's an EMT. And we got together yeah. a couple times after. And she's going to be coming, she's going to be coming back down in uh, October. Uh, and we're going to go and visit Linda, if you know Linda from the Red Team. Okay, yeah. And um, Kimberly, I, I would have to say, Kimberly was probably one of my favorites. I loved cooking with her, loved talking to her. And uh, I, I told everybody, uh, you know, we're sitting around, we're talking. I said, hey, look, these guys are going to remember me by anything. Remember me by this. And everybody's looking at me, and I said, you know what? Your mother's age! <laughs> so now every once in a while they'll hit me up and hey, your mother's age, how you doing? I made uh, a really good, really good friends with uh, Cameron Pennington from season 15. Mm -hmm. uh, he lives in, in Kentucky. We did a worst, he, he organized a worst cooks tour. We went to a couple schools in uh, Kentucky and signed mm -hmm. autographs. I'm not one for autographs, but. I mean, I, I kind of dubbed the, the high school out there. They were really good yeah, people, yeah. you know. They were... You told us a story earlier. I, told, I wanted you to hold off on it, but I, but I wanted to save it for our listeners and viewers. You want to tell us a little, about, a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> my daughter loves this, by the way, guys. She thinks it is absolutely the best. So, I got uh, acid reflux. And okay. if I eat something spicy, at night and I wake up early and I don't give the food enough time to digest. Yeah. I make these stinky farts. Yeah. I mean totally oh. stinky farts. We had Mexican one night and here we are. Uh, we're doing the demo for the cake, my last episode I was on. And Chef Irvine's, you know, he's making the cake and I had to let one go. I was like, I was squeezing my butt cheeks and not, <laughs> so it wouldn't come out like make make a real big yeah. sound. So it comes out, and I'm like, oh man, that's bad. <laughs> I was like, that's really bad. So I turned to Timmy Talk. I'm like, hey Tim, I'm sorry. He goes, sorry for what? I'm like, dude, you'll smell it. Before you know it, he's like, oh my god, he's fanning me with his recipe book. And I'm standing there saying, in my head, this is what's going on. Oh my God, I fought it, and it stinks, 
and there's all these cameras around, and Timmy's making a big deal about it. I'm embarrassed, but then again, I'm, I'm thinking, this is awesome. <laughs> so then I hear, like, choking and stuff. So I look behind me, and the camera guy that's behind us, his face is rock, lobster red, gagging, choking. He almost threw up from the smoke. <laughs> I thought that was a compliment. If anybody thinks that worst cooks is a fake, let me tell you, it is not a fake. I mean, we barely know how to cook, and they beat us up every single week until we do it's, it's, like it's, it's like culinary boot camp. They beat you up. They beat you up until you learn. And if, you know what? Only the strong will survive, and you know, Everybody that I've been in contact with and everybody that I've been on the show with, we all threw down and did our best. So if, if, if I could feed people, you know, and, and make them happy just by feeding them and entertaining them, making them laugh, like, you ask any of my friends, I'll have pizza parties or I'll have a barbecue. And we'll just drink and eat the whole time and laugh. I mean, if you don't come to my house, have something nice and cold to drink, had something good to eat, then I didn't do my job. Yeah, and by the, by the end of the night, he had so many beers, like the last few pizzas were like burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Not the few, it's always the last pizza. I gotta admit, it's the last okay. pizza. Speaking about pizza, give me a second. I'm gonna go check on my cheesesteak pizza that I made for these guys. Nice and crispy on the bottom, right? Nice color to the crust. It was like an internet thing. Yeah. They found out that like actually ice takes up space in the drink because they fill the whole thing up with ice and they pour in the drink. Yeah. Kind of like at Richmond's. If you're thinking about cooking, look up Frankie Meeple on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Yes, sir. Give me one more. Uh, forget about. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something, Joey. <laughs> Joey, you listen to me, Joey? <laughs> You're going to eat these pizzas, you're going to love it. Forget about it. If you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button. Guys, follow these guys on YouTube. Where else can they find your stuff, guys? Instagram and Spotify. Look it up, Dude by the Water. Dude by the Water. Cook it with Frankie Meeple. Don't forget to check out Silly Rock Radio. Frankie Meeple Productions.